hogs on the mob planting purple seeds. Baltimore Ravens coat, purple trim, big body, old school for low. Purple rim, seven seven cutty, black with the purple strip. All right, what's good, fam? All right, so, um, how how can I start this? This is so stupid. Like. Lamar Jackson has been in the NFL for six years. Six. He is the most criticized player within that six years. With it. Who, who is the most criticized player in the NFL in the last 10 years? I would say Lamar. 20 years. I will still go with Lamar, probably. I will, yeah, I will still go with Lamar because they told him he should be one racist person said he should be a quarterback. Then you have a Fox radio host, which I didn't make a video of, but quarterbacky. What? Then you have Nick Wright. He's not racist though. But Nick Wright has a thing of saying some things that make you like, what? Where is this coming from? Here is the audio of what I'm talking about. A touch overrated. And I'm I'm going to say something here that it pains me to say because we think of these players so differently. Their approval ratings are so different. The respect we have for them and how they go about their business is so different. But... Objectively, it's true. We all, Lamar's probably going to win the MVP mm -hmm. this year. If Lamar goes into this postseason and the Ravens lose their first game. Dak. No. Worse. James Harden. Ah. <laughs> Brew, you wince, and you do that because Harden is such, like, uh, I don't want to say pariah, but so much of the Harden stuff it feels like is almost non-basketball and th th those things. But unbelievable, unique, one-of-one, one regular season talent. Never quite seen a guy play the way he does. Won an MVP, came close to winning a bunch of, of others in Harden's case. For Lamar's case, would have been, we have two of them. Here's right now, this as of this moment, show Lamar's playoff numbers. Lamar's playoff resume is terrible. It is it, not a single game with a passer rating in the 80s or above. Not a there. There is the the one win he got came over Ryan Daniel, and that game one he was great three. with his right. legs. It was so again. It brew if he wins the MVP and they lose their first playoff game and he plays poorly, then that is going to be the narrative on him. And I don't think that is. And like a one in ten shot that that happens. I think that is on the board. So I think they're a little here's overrated. why. Now, if he goes into the playoffs and loses, he's saying that Lamar Jackson, a person that's been in the game for six years, is James Harden. Now, Lamar Jackson, his second year, won 2019, won the MVP. First full starting year, he wins the MVP. Number one a, uh, uh, AFC seed. Now we look at history, and a lot of people compare, which I'm gonna do myself, is Peyton Manning. Now Peyton Manning came out in 1998. I believe first time they made it to the playoffs was 2000. I believe because 98. I think I remember looking at he he uh, had like 26 interceptions, something like that. But Peyton Manning right now is in the Hall of Fame. Now, his playoff record before he won the Super Bowl with the Colts, I believe it was three and six. I believe it was three and six. Lamar, Lamar is what, one and two? One and three? Something like that? Here was Peyton Man in three and six. Finally got over that threshold. I believe he was three and six. But he finally got over that threshold and won the Super Bowl. Now, we have a man that is still going off of Aaron Rodgers. Won the Super Bowl. It was so long ago. But nobody's calling him a James Harden. The heck, a Giannis so far because 
that's how they're treating Lamar in his young career. Like the chapter is not done. His book is still open. It's not closed yet. He didn't retire. He has not retired. Like you gonna sit there and disrespect this man like that and call him James Harden. Pretty much you're saying he's good in the season, but in the playoffs, he's he's not that good. Like, bro, the last two years, Lamar has been injured. Knock on wood, he doesn't get injured in any of these season games and all the way in the playoffs. Now, if he wins, this is why I believe um, Nick Wright is nervous. Because if he's win, Lamar Jackson wins. Steve Young has already said he believes Lamar Jackson can be one of the greatest quarterbacks ever. We already have Lamar Jackson having the same exact record. Let me pull this up. Same exact record of wins and losses of the man that what's that? Uh, sent him a message on Instagram saying you're next. 57 and 19 and 76 starts just like Tom Brady. Now, I think everybody knows once Lamar wins this Super Bowl this year, it's going to be very, very interesting. Me personally, I believe Nick Wright is going to be very nervous because his boy Patrick Mahomes will have to go against Lamar Jackson every year. He's going to see that man. Just like Tom Brady had to see Peyton Manning, he's going to have to see that man. And Lamar, this is Lamar's first year having an actual really good wide receiving core. It's going to get even better later on. But in, in order for you to call that man Lamar Jackson, James Harden, only six years in his career, second year of his NFL career, the first start of his actual run as the Baltimore Ravens. He took this losing team to the playoffs. Majority on his legs. Then 2019, he number one AFC seed. Number one. And all Lamar Jackson now is talking about 2019. If we are the AF, if we are the number one seed in the AFC, 2019 is not going to happen again. 2019, we didn't have Roquan Smith. 2019, we didn't have this defense on a caliber of what we have now. So many veterans, so very good young talent that's blossoming. We didn't have that in 2019. Hopefully this year is different. Now, also, Lamar possibly will win the MVP. There will be two MVPs in six years. And this man is calling him James Hart. How disrespectful that is. Like, come on, bro. I know you're nervous that the Ravens, they're all going to be talking about the Ravens like they talk about Kansas City. That's what I believe he's really nervous of. But anyway, y'all, that ooh, when I when I heard that, I was like, is he serious right now? Is he like what? This man That's why it is important to just Think before you speak. That's I don't even know if they still say that nowadays. Think before you speak. Cause honestly, he's been wrong a lot. But James Harden, really? And I like James Harden. He cool. But Lamar Jackson is not no James Harden. Anyway, so what y'all think of that nonsense Nick Wright said? Hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit the share. Everybody stay safe. And God bless. 
I'm on a whole different frequency. To the point if you met real, you would tell him that he keeps it me. Vibe on 11 really turned up. Ride slow through the city while the trunk rattle. Knob on 11, baby, turned up. Be knocked, let it hit you with the 